Fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. And a happy Wednesday to you. And if you have not seen this, I highly suggest you check this out tonight. The Neo East Comet is going to be visible in the northwestern sky tonight about 45 minutes after sunset. So if you can get out and take a look at it, it'll be fantastic. Actually, as a matter of fact, if you want to see it really cool from space, get on the Google and uh, and uh, the best thing to look up is this comet through the ISS. I mean, it looks really cool. So get on the Googler and take a look at that because that is fantastic. And we have another shot have seen it tonight so nice through the afternoon a few stronger storms are possible tomorrow afternoon with our next storm system and it warms up almost each and every day we're on a warming trend along with the humidity and by the time we head into the weekend it's going to be the hot stuff once again along with the humidity so talking about tomorrow uh the uh, NOAA Storm Prediction Center has placed all of Western New York and Northwestern Pennsylvania under a standard slight risk. That's a level two out of five for tomorrow afternoon. And uh, the main threats are going to be damaging straight line winds and large hail and heavy rainfall here. So timing is likely going to be about one o'clock tomorrow afternoon. That's when the storms are going to start to get going in the westernmost areas. They'll, uh, they'll ultimately work their way east to probably by about five o'clock. They'll be out of the area. And again, strong winds, heavy rain and large hail will be our main threats. And there could be a a chance for an isolated spin-up tornado. The chance is not zero, but it's a, a low chance nevertheless. And the bigger story beyond tomorrow is going to be the heat and the overall humidity. Look at the forecast heat indices here going back into the mid to upper 80s by the end of the week. And then by the weekend, we're back up into the lower 90s once again for heat indices. So have that air cranking. Once again, future scan through the day shows you absolutely nothing. So it's a great day to get out. Enjoy the outdoors. If you can, it's going to be great. Tonight, it's going to be clear. So again, great skies uh, for uh, the uh, the uh, viewing tonight. Now tomorrow, a few scattered showers. And then as the system approaches out of the west, you're going to notice the uh, showers and thunderstorms flaring here. And again, this is by about one o'clock. This works its way eastward. This is by about four o'clock. So again, about one to five o'clock tomorrow afternoon will be our main timing window. And again, any one of those storms could be strong to severe with damaging straight line winds, large hail, heavy rain, and maybe maybe a um, and maybe a spin up tornado. That's something we're going to have to keep an eye on through the day. Of course, we'll be here uh, all day tomorrow, keeping our eyes on that. And then that clears out for Friday. And then the heat is on as we head into the end of the week here. So as we take a look at the forecast uh, through the afternoon today, temperatures will be right around 80 to uh, 86 today. Temperatures not bad with lots of sunshine out there. So get out and enjoy it with a south wind averaging about five to 10 miles per hour tonight. A mainly clear starlit sky 62 to 71 tonight. Get out and watch the comet if you can with a light south wind. Here comes the uh, seven day and tomorrow 84. And uh, that's actually the incorrect seven day. It should be uh, the next one here. And I think this is it. There it is. 82 tomorrow, scattered afternoon showers and storms. Uh, scattered storms continue on Friday, 86 on Saturday, on uh, 88 on Sunday. Lots of heat and uh, humidity and the pop-up afternoon showers and storms continue into next week.